What's up, guys? Welcome back to Way of the Hunter. Oh. oh they're alerted. So, uh, I've just kind of come in, and I've walked around just a little bit, just kind of check stuff out, trying to figure out exactly what we want to do today. And, uh, came across some elk, elk, apparently. I was headed to here. I was curious to see here. We've got a lot of map that needs to be looked at. And, uh, I was going to kind of do some of that. See what was over here. Uh, just out of, you know, curiosity. And then try to, I guess, go back and find some more mule deer and see if we can get this little mission done. But, like I said, came across these guys over here. Let's see if we can get some eyes on them. Oh, that we did. Just, oh. What is this guy? Uh, two star mature. Okay. I'm assuming that question mark's probably going to be a deer stand. That's what I'm assuming anyway. But we can check it out anyways. Right after I figure out what these guys are. That's a female. Uh, so, okay, so there's a one star mature in that group. So let's see if we can get the angle. What's our wind look like? Uh, it's not the greatest. But if we can work this just right. There's a one star young male also. I think that's the two star we saw a second ago. Uh, let's see. Whoops, something's blocking us. Okay, there we are. So I lost him for a second. I have a bad habit about that. I don't know why I do that. Okay, I'm hoping they'll move to where I can see them. I don't think there's a big dip right there, is there? Well, actually, there is a dip, but hopefully it's not too much to where it blocks them. Well, I think I'm out of luck with that. So I think about my only chance, I can either sit here and wait, or I can try and work my way up this little hill just a little bit to get a little bit of a uh, a vantage point. I think I'll do that just to see because there's no telling what these guys are going to do. You know, I was sitting there doing this and I think I remember. I think I have an elk call. Do I have the elk call? I do have the elk call. And that attracts the low fitness males. I can't believe I forgot about that. So that should bring him to us. I hope. We'll see. He's up just a little bit more here. Turn on our hunter sense just to see. I haven't seen them for, you know, uh, about a, cu a couple minutes I haven't seen them. So I'm not sure if they're right there or if they've moved up higher or what. Because they... Oof. They're still there. Okay. So let's sit here. And just wait a second. We'll see if we can draw that thing in. Yep. Here he comes. Let's have a look at him real quick. Oh, there's two of them. That one's a mature. So there's two. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and handle this. What is our 219? We'll just call it this. Could we get a two shot? No way. Not a chance. We did shoot. We hit him twice. I don't know if we got a good enough shot on that second one to be able to do anything. But we did hit him. Twice. Okay. Well, that was kind of crazy. That call worked like a charm, though. Both of them came walking straight up there. That's crazy. 
All right. Let's check this guy out. Yeah, that's crazy how good that worked. All right. So this guy, where did we hit him? Dead center, chest, arteries, heart, lung. Okay, 27.87. Still worth a lot of money. Ooh. Okay, I forgot about that one. So we'll do that real quick. Uh, Ivory Art was the objective. Yes, okay. Activate that. Claim it. And sell it. Well, that was kind of nice. Two for one. Okay, let's see what this says. What does this blood say? Okay, medium amount of blood. Alright, that's fine. And I hit him twice. So, good deal. We'll be able to track him down real quick then. I say real quick. It might take a little longer. I don't know. We'll find out in a second. Alright, let me get to tracking this guy. Let's see. Look at that blood trail though. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. He shouldn't have made it too awful far with all that blood. Straight up the hill. Alright, we'll get there in a second. Check out that view. It's pretty nice. Still tracking this elk. Uh, I haven't tracked him very long. I came up on this hill and I just saw that. It looked awesome. Uh, let's see. Surely he hasn't made it much further. But you never know. I bet he's right down here. Could be wrong. He's made a lot of turns. Well, he's bleeding a lot, though, so... Let's see. Where has he gone? Where are they at? Okay, they're up there. Where is she even at? I don't even see her. Oh, right there, actually. Young female. I'm guessing this is the same little group. It's got to be the same group. But where's this guy at? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and the wind is blowing right at him, too. I was thinking maybe I could get... That's a mature also, so we've already got a mature. Yeah, this is that same group. I was thinking if we could get a young... A young one also, or an adult one. And that would go towards that mission that right there. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Now, this thing has to be right here somewhere. Right here close. I finally see him. He's right there. He made it a pretty good ways, too. He was following this other group. Or, you know, he was following the same little group. Uh, let's see. Where did they go? They're right up at the top of this hill. I don't think I'm going to be able to sneak up on them, though. I don't think I'm going to worry too much about it. I'm just going to go ahead and retrieve this trophy and move on to the next location, I think. Unless, you know, unless it just kind of pops out in front of me. Did they move? They must have, because they were right over here. Like I said, they move so fast. You don't know what direction they're going to head in either. So, anyway, let's check this guy out. They're so big. So, hold on. Yeah, so apparently the second... Look at that. Artery. That's the only reason we got him is because of the artery. So, the second shot that I put... I could have swore that I saw a blood spray, but it didn't do anything. Right? Yeah, because it's not showing that we shot him twice. It's just showing that we shot him once. Okay. Alright. So that kind of helps me. I, I you know I was having trouble last time with the 1903. And, you know, a couple comments said that there wasn't any issue. Or they weren't having any issues with it. Um, I had had another issue after that. I tried it again. And uh, it was something similar, you know, um, where it was 
another hit like it was the first time I tried it and it was still the small amount of blood deal but I put it you know right behind the shoulder and it was like 180 yards or something like that but I, I don't know maybe just absolute bad luck but the other one that was right in our face there was a branch or something in front of us and I guess that may have stopped it so I'll have to keep an eye out for that and pay attention to that too it's hard to it's hard to figure it out sometimes because if you're hunting in real life something like a little a little bush bushes or something like that something smaller isn't going to stop your bullet enough to mess up your shot so but anyway so yeah so i think after we got i'm surprised we got those two those two elk right off the bat that's absolutely amazing so i'm going to walk around just a little bit for a few minutes and see what's over on that one spot and then we'll go back and see if we can get after mule deer again Check out this herd. I, I, I had said I was going to leave them alone, but I was sitting there watching them, and I noticed there's a, I think there's an adult, a mature, and a young male all in there also, on top of the other two that we already took. Which is kind of crazy. So I wonder what will happen, just out of curiosity, if we do, is this our elk call? No, that's our deer call. Let's try this. They were just looking at me a second ago. Let's see if that actually attracts one. Is that going to bring one in? If it does, then we'll know that we need to take it. Regardless, this guy right here... That's, I think that, I don't know, I think it was an adult one star. There's a mature one star. Good lord. That's so crazy. So you would think that a mature one star would be low fitness, right? What is this guy here? I can't see him because of the, uh the deal. Oh, that's the wrong one. Here we go. Okay. Let's see what they do. Still nothing. So there's an adult, and there's a young male. I think I'm going to take this one-star adult regardless. But check it out. He must not be low fitness because he's not coming. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're still going to take him. How far was he? 200 yards. Call it that. Pull up and... <laughs> laid him down. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Good deal. Cool. So that's going to help us. I'll, it, I need to finish my words before I continue talking. That's going to help us out a lot. And I'd also found a location for wolves. So I guess they're around here too. Have to keep an eye out for them. I like hunting the wolves. They're pretty fun. Pretty challenging too because they can, they can smell so good, I guess. They're easier to hunt on Transylvania, obviously, because the location they are is just kind of out in the wide open. Here it's all trees and everything. It's really difficult to see the stuff. But yeah, I think it's, all in all, it's more difficult to hunt on Nez Perce than it is on uh, Transylvania. Just because of the terrain, I think. Let's get over here and check this guy out. Here he is. Okay. I am curious, too. This is going to show me. Oh, yeah. Good shot. Anyway, let's see. Good lord. So... His fitness rating is 72, but he's still a one star. I'm still having trouble figuring out exactly how this 
system works. I don't know. I'm assuming that when he turned mature, he was going to be a two-star. Or I guess potentially a three-star. I don't know. Let's sell him. But that does show that the collar works. I'm guessing that for it to bring in... For it to attract an animal, it has to be below 50%. Something like that. I can probably find it in the encyclopedia. But anyway. Alright, cool. I feel pretty good about that. So now it's just one... Uh, one elk? Yeah, one young elk is all we need to finish this little mission. And we'll probably get that in passing if I can remember it. Because I know we'll probably take some more elk at some point. I say I know. We definitely will. So, alright. I'm going to head on to another location and see if we can find maybe some more mule deer. So, I can't get away from the elk. I came to another location. I'll show you where I'm at. I came to this campsite here and I was just following this little uh, trail right here. Just to kind of go through there and unlock a little bit more area and stuff like that, you know. And, uh, run into elk. I hear a fox or something over there kind of barking at me too. Check this out. I can't get away from them. See if I can get a clear line of sight on these guys maybe. They're walking right down the the, uh, the path it seems like. These trees line up just right to be wrong. Look at all these deer. Mature male. Let's do this. We'll do the same thing we did a second ago. Uh, we'll hit our call and see if we can get a low fitness male to come in. Let's have a look and see if they're looking this way. Okay, so we have our mark right there. One star mature. 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 He's the only one. Okay. What is that one up there in the front? I can see something that has some smaller horns, maybe? Where's this guy at? What did I just hear? Was that a goat? No, it's a whitetail. Jeez. This is a hot spot right here. Where did this... Oh, there he is right there. Okay. Let's try this again. Uh, which one was it? Here we go. Alright, buddy. Are you going to get closer? I'm curious to see how far they'll go, they'll go away from the herd. Nah, see, he was done right there. So he'll only come... He'll only come a certain, or a, a distance. And then he'll go back to his herd. Okay. That's cool. I like that. We've got these whitetail up here somewhere. Ho <laughs> ho. Oh, they're way up there. Oh, here we go. Let's check this out. Young. It's a young one star. Oh, come on. Did I scare or something? I don't think I did. Wish I could see these guys better. It's almost like every time I try to get an eye, get eyes on something, it's behind a bush somewhere. Well, we know there's a young one star in this group. But what else do we have? I can't tell. And watch. I can just about guarantee you that they're going to go over that ridge. They never come towards you. <laughs> it's like they know. Okay. Jesus. Yep. Yep. Don't you worry. I'm coming. I'm going to try and get close to them again. See if I can hit the call and get that guy to come to us just a little bit. 
because I'd really like to take him. This is turning into just an elk hunting video, just straight out. Uh, go ahead and put the call. Okay, alerted. Well, the wind is blowing like right at him too, so that doesn't help at all. At all. See if I can get eyes on this guy. Which one is it? He may be in these bushes right here, too. So hard to figure out. Or is that him there? I bet you that's him. Yeah, that's him. Because he keeps turning and running back. All right. We'll find an angle on him here in a second. They're alerted for sure. I still feel like we can get this guy. Ah, I just can't see him. Yeah, I know. Is that... I can't tell well enough. Come on, guy. There you are. Is that you? That is you. Alright, hurry up, hurry up. Or I missed my opportunity here. Uh, 174... And see, I think if I'm not too badly mistaken, when I shot him that second time right there, it hit. So we'll walk over there. Wait, wait. I think did we even scare the white tail that were up there? Maybe not. They may have moved on a little further though. Okay, so. Let's have a look over here and see see what we have see if both of those shots hit okay so we have medium amount of blood and air bubbles I think was this an initial shot I think this may have been the initial shot so regardless I'll just track this and then we'll be able to see if we hit him with both bullets or not Okay, I think I was wrong. So, this was the initial shot right here. Yeah, this was the initial shot. And this was the secondary shot. Okay, alright. See if I can track it, because uh, I have no idea where he went. I'm, uh... I'm pretty dumb, aren't I? <laughs> and if y'all saw him laying there in the video, don't hate on me because I was definitely, I, I did not see him at all. Okay, so, yeah. So that had to be it. That was the initial shot. This was the secondary shot, and he did like a little loop deal and just kind of went down. Okay, let's see. Yeah, shot one. Shot one was lung, like dead center lung, okay, and then the second shot was also lung, it was just a lot further back, but it was still lung. Alright, so that, that kind of throws me for a loop, because it's like, let me swap over to this other mission real quick deer management no that's for mule deer what I what I what am I even doing right now I, I don't even have to worry about that okay anyway I can just go ahead and claim it so that kind of confuses me a little bit makes me wonder okay so what exactly 
can we shoot through and what we can't what can we not shoot through there's no definitive answer i think so all in all it's best just not to shoot through the bushes hmm. okay let's continue walking on a little bit and uh take in this beautiful scenery let's see if we can find something else maybe something besides an elk my luck i'm gonna run into another elk but i'd like to see a mule deer <laughs> all right so it is this is pretty exciting today there the animals are out and about I was just easing along, continuing on, and scared up some whitetail. So I was, and it was a big herd of them too. It, it looked like there were like eight of them. But it, anyway, so I was tracking them down, and they're like right down the hill over there. And then a wolf just howled at me. That's really close over here. Pretty cool. I don't know how close, or let's see, I don't know exactly how close they are. I think they were like. I don't know, a hundred and something yards, 180 yards or something like that. But I bet I'll spook them. You know how they are. They get spooked so easy. What is that over there? That's oh, just a rock formation. Ease up here nice and slow. I don't have a predator call on me right now either. Oh, here we go. Uh, mature two star. What is this? Young female. Young one star. Uh, what do we have? That's that two. Surely we have a mature one star male in this group. No, it looks like just a couple of two star matures. How far is that? Uh, 140 yards. Let's ease nice and slow over this way. Double check real quick just to make sure. There's another two star. Okay. That's a young. We definitely don't want to take him. Where? It seems like they're kind of following him too. So we'll give them a chance to work their way up just a little bit. And maybe we can get eyes on one. But it looks like there's just that one. That one one star and then a couple of two star mature. Is that one? No, that's a rock. I need to slow my tail down. I about took off a little too fast there. Where, where did this guy go? There's that one, okay. Just too much excitement going on around me. Yeah, so... Hmm. They are walking perfectly in sync. Look at that. That is weird. Ooh, I wonder. You already know what I wonder. I think we're too high up though if they'll follow the path just right we'll be able to get a shot on both of them at the same time that would be sweet i wonder if we can pull that off get into position and see if we can uh how far are they out they're 140 yards so hmm Oh, no, they turned. Oh, no, they split. Okay, it's definitely not going to work. We're turning back now, though. I wonder what's going on. Yep, two-star mature. And that's just a mature female. That must be the... Uh, the alpha pair, right? Two for one, two for one, two for one, two for one. Come on, just a little further. A little further, a little further, a little further, a little further. We dropped one. That wasn't a two for one. I cheated. There's those white tails again. Where'd they run off to? Yep, there they are. 
There's an old one. A buck. Old. Was that an elk? <laughs> I don't know. It's like every time I turn around, there's an elk. Okay, let's go down here and check these out. I'm wondering, we'll be able to see if that shot would have counted. What is that something over there? Is that bushes? Bushes. Okay. Squirrel. Anyway. I'll be able to see if that'll count as another uh like two for one or whatever. Because it looked like it was stopping. But I couldn't help myself. When I saw it stop there, I was like, yeah, I'm I, I'm gonna nail it. Alright, let's see. Well, okay, here's the blood spot right here. And that was... Oh, nope. That was definitely not a one-shot. So, because it's... Uh, yeah, you can see it there. Small amount of blood, animal survived. So it barely hit her. What about this guy? Yeah, I tried to do it just right. Okay, the angle was too bad. That's what it was. I didn't feel like I was at that hard of an angle. Well, 46%. That's a good kill. Okay, well, let's look at her. Where did it hit? Right there? Yeah, just a little bit too hard of an angle. Technically, though, that should have caused damage to this artery. Technically. But I guess not. That one worked. That one laid it down. Okay. There we go. Well, so... We've gotten elk, and we've gotten wolves, and we have yet to see a single mule deer. So, I guess what I'm going to do, just to try my best to see one, is go back to a location to where I know they are. I say that. But, my luck today, I won't see one. It'll be something else that's going to get our attention. But, we're going to try. Alright, we'll see y'all in a minute. Oh, looky, looky. I found some mule deer. Oh, look at this guy right here. Three star, four star. So close. So close. So this guy's a three-star mature, and we have a four-star mature with this group. I think we've already taken a four-star mule deer. Regardless, I'm not, I'm not shooting him. What is this guy? Can't tell. We need a young one. Uh, was that right? Let well, let me see. Um. Objectives. Deer management. No, harvest five mule deer bucks with a fitness score. Okay, bad fitness score. So, let's see. Let me grab my call. Attracts low fitness males. Okay. So, this should work for mule, mule deer. My guess is not a single one of these guys is going to come one. Not a single one. Is the wind good? Yeah, our wind's good. I think these are all nice, uh, nice bucks. Look, hmm, that's so nice. Little four star. Yeah, I think all these guys' genetics is good. We're so close to getting our five star. I really don't want to mess with this herd. They do have a low fitness in there. I will take it. But anything beyond that. Yeah, there was a one star mature male. I just saw it. Is that two star mature male? Yeah, we need to take that one star to make room. Where'd he go? Where did he go? That's him right there. Yeah, right there. Okay. And that is 227 yards. 227. 
Bump that up. Yeah, 219 will be perfect. Right behind the shoulder. Okay, I see the blood right there. So let me let me mark that. I'm curious to see. That should have been a decent shot, in all honesty. I think, anyway. I don't have much faith in myself anymore. Let's see. We'll work our way over here and see what we got. I'm super excited, though. Four star. Okay, so we got a good clean blood trail, and it's medium. It's a medium amount. Yeah, with air bubbles. So, we definitely got a decent shot in on him. We'll just have to track him down. And uh, I'm crouched down right now because there's something right on the other edge. Right on the other side of this little ridge right here, too. I'm guessing that it's the same group that have, you know, they ran their certain little distance and then they've stopped. But I don't know. We'll have to see. That or it's more elk. Because there are elk in this area that I'm hunting these mule deer. It is super close, whatever it is. creep up there and see if we can see what it is. I doubt we're going to get that close, honestly. If we get much closer and we're going to hear them walking. Do you guys ever use the, uh, the crawl technique? I used it a couple times. You just, you know, trying to get super close to stuff, but it doesn't seem like it works any better than than just the crouch walking real slow. That was, you know, my experience with it anyways. Maybe because I haven't upgraded it enough or something. Y'all have to let me know. See what y'all's experience is with it. Because it'd be kind of cool if you could crawl just right. And get super, super close to them, like right on top of them. Take a lot of patience. Is that for uh, English? Take a lot of patience, though. Yeah, there he is right here. Oh my god, 20 yards? Oh, they ran. Yeah, they booked it. Whatever it was, they got out of there. I'm assuming it was the, the mule deer. That's my guess. Let's check this guy out. Oh, that was like too far behind. Okay. And I guess it was because of his angle. The way that was. So I misjudged that entirely. That makes sense, though. Okay, cool deal. At least we got him. It could have been worse. Uh, are you going to harvest animal which can be used to progress in one of your inactive objectives? Deer management. Wait, hold on a second. Mature male, 26.6. I wonder why he didn't come when I called. Maybe I wasn't close enough? Anyway, let me go ahead and swap back to that objective. Uh, deer management. That's good. I didn't expect to get that. So yeah, consistently we have seen that the one star mature animals are low fitness rating. Like extremely consistently. Okay. Which I guess, you know, most people already knew that. But just to be able to confirm it makes me feel better. Such awesome weather. So cool. Alright. Uh, so. What I'm going to do real quick. <laughs> anyway, I thought I heard something. What I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to ease this way. I'm going to see if I can figure out what that was a second ago. And then, have we already elk eating off him? Okay. I'm going to see if I can figure out what that was. It may have been elk. Because if elk are eating off in there, then that very well may be it. But I'm going to try and see if I can find them real quick, like I said, and then we're going to end the episode. 
Well, guys, I looked around for a few minutes and I didn't really track them down. So I just came over here to this bridge to come check it out. Listen to the rain. It's so cool. They did such a good job. Anyway, I think I'm going to. Uh, if I could learn how to speak English, I would be extremely happy. <laughs> anyway, I think we're going to call it here. I appreciate y'all for watching. I hope to see y'all in the next one. Y'all have a great day and goodbye.